The materials I use are two four ply yarn. The white yarn is for the stem and the purple is for the cap. Then I will use three milliliter crochet hook. So for the yarn and hook, you can change the size if you want a big mushroom, then use a bigger yarn and hook. Also, if you want a smaller mushroom, use a small yarn and hook. Then you need a stitch marker, a darning needle, and a scissors. Lastly, you will need a keychain, but if you don't have one, don't worry. I will show you an alternative using just yarn and it will look like this. Now, let's get started. We're going to start by making the mushroom cap, so go ahead and make a magic ring. We're going to use our two fingers. Now, we're just going to hold onto the end of the yarn and wrap it around your two fingers, kind of like making an X shape, then hold it with your ring finger. Then slide in your crochet hook through the first loop and grab onto the second loop and twist it up like this. Now, release the magic ring from your finger while still keeping its shape and chain one. There is many ways to do a magic ring and you can look it up to see which one is easier for you. So we are going to use an X stitch single crochet and we are going to insert 6 single crochet in our magic ring. So to do the X stitch single crochet, you are going to insert your hook into the magic ring and yarn under and pull up a loop. And then yarn over and pull through the two loops. So that is our first single crochet. Now we're just going to continue until you have six single crochet in your magic ring. Three, four, five, and six. Now you're just going to pull the end of your magic ring so that the middle closed completely. Once you're done, we're going to insert two single crochet into the first stitch. So the first stitch is going to be a little tight, so you can use your fingernails to get into this stitch. So now you're just going to insert two single crochet into the first stitch, meaning you're going to make an increase. So that is going to be my first stitch. Now you're going to take your stitch marker and mark the first stitch so remember to mark the first stitch of each round this is really important so that you can keep track of your round i'm just going to insert one more single crochet into the same stitch now that i have done the first increase i am just going to continue inserting the increase in each of this stitch so basically you're just going to continue inserting two single crochet in each of this stitch until the end of this round and at the end of this round you will have a total of 12 stitches so I have done round 2, now let's move on to round 3. So first remove your stitch marker and in the first stitch we're going to insert an increase meaning you're just going to insert 2 single crochet into the same stitch and remember to mark the first stitch. I'm just going to insert one more single crochet into the same stitch and then in the next stitch you're going to insert one single crochet. Then in the next stitch you're going to insert an increase, one and two and insert one single crochet into the next stitch so the pattern for this round is just one increase and one single crochet so you're just going to repeat this pattern until the end of this round now let's move on to round four so first remove your stitch marker and in the first stitch you're going to insert one single crochet so just insert your hook and insert one single crochet and then mark it with your stitch marker and then in the next stitch, you're going to insert an increase, meaning you're just going to insert two single crochet into the same stitch. And then make two single crochet. One. And two. And then again, insert an increase. One. Two and then make two single crochet one and two and then again an increase one and two and two single crochet one and two so you're just going to repeat this pattern of one increase and two single crochet until you have two stitches left so when you have two stitches left, first insert an increase. 
Then in the last stitch, you're going to insert one single crochet. Now let's move on to round 5. So for this round, you are just going to insert one single crochet in each of these stitch. So you are going to repeat this step for 3 rounds. Basically, you're going to do this for round 5, round 6, and round 7. And the total of stitches for this round is 24 stitches. So in case you need to count it, it is 24 stitches. So that is my first stitch. That's two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 and 24 you can see that there is kind of like some wall forming once we have done all of the one single crochet so basically this one single crochet will help you build the mushroom cap so that it can have this curve to it so you're just going to repeat this step for two more rounds and i'll see you once you're done i have done mine until round seven and this is how it looks like now we are going to finish this off by making a slip stitch so remove your stitch marker and in the first stitch you're going to insert a slip stitch so just insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop and pull through and then you're going to chain one and cut your yarn so you are going to cut a really long yarn because you are going to use it to sew it onto the stem later on so i am going to cut about this long and then you're going to pull through and sign up the chain one now we are going to move on onto the stem part starting with a magic ring grab the end and wrap it around your two fingers sort of making an x shape then with your hook grab the left loop and twist it up then release it from your fingers while keeping its shape and chain one you are still going to use the X stitch single crochet so you are going to insert 6 single crochet into the magic ring so insert your hook, yarn under, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through 2 so just continue this step until you have 6 single crochet in your magic ring So once you are done, just pull the end so that the middle cloth off completely like so. Then for round 2, you are going to insert an increase in every stitch. So insert your hook into the first stitch and insert an increase, meaning you are going to insert 2 single crochet into the same stitch. So the first stitch is usually a bit side, so you can use your fingers to insert your hook into this stitch. I am carrying the end as I walk over the single crochet so that I don't have to weave it in later. And remember to mark the first stitch with your stitch marker for every round. This is really important so that you can keep track of your round. Then I'm just going to insert one more single crochet into the same stitch to complete my increase. Now that is my first increase, now just continue inserting the increase in every stitch until you have a total of 12 stitches. Now moving on to round 3, first remove your stitch marker and in the first stitch you're going to insert one single crochet. So for this round, you will be inserting one single crochet in every stitch until the end of this round. Also the total of stitches for this round is 12 stitches. Now this is my second stitch, 3, 4, 5, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and finally twelve. You can see now that we have sort of a dome shape forming so we are going to lengthen the dome shape by making one more round of one single crochet in each stitch basically for round four just continue inserting one single crochet in each stitch just like the last round so the total of stitches for this round is 12 stitches so just continue inserting one single crochet and i'll see you once you're done Moving on to round 5, so in the first stitch, you are going to insert an increase. So just insert 2 single crochet into the same stitch. So I'm just going to make my second single crochet in the same stitch. And then in the next stitch, you are going to insert 1 single crochet. Then in the next stitch, you're going to insert an increase, 1, and 2, then insert 1 single crochet. So you are just going to repeat the pattern of 1 increase and 1 single crochet until the end of this round. So I am done with round 5, now we are going to move on to round 6. So first, we are going to do a decrease. This is the front loop and this is the back loop. To do a decrease, grab onto the first stitch back loop. Then grab onto the next stitch back loop. So you will have three loops on your hook. Now you're going to grab your yarn and then pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through two. So that is how you're going to do a decrease. And then in the next stitch, you're going to insert one single crochet. And then in the next stitch, you're going to do a decrease again. So grab onto the first back loop and then the second back loop. Yarn under and pull through two. And then yarn over and pull through two. So you're just going to repeat the pattern of one decrease and one single crochet until the end of this round. By the end, you should have a total of 12 stitches. It's better if you count your stitches once you are finished just to make sure you have the same number of stitches. Now for round 7 and 8, it is going to be the same step which is inserting 1 single crochet in every stitch. So go ahead and insert 1 single crochet into the first stitch. So mark the first stitch with your stitch marker. And then just continue inserting 1 single crochet until the end of this round. By the end of this round, you are still going to end with 12 stitches. So just continue inserting 1 single crochet in 2 more rounds and I'll see you on round 9. Now I am doing my last 2 stitches and then my last stitch. On round 9, we are going to insert an increase in every stitch, meaning we are going to insert 2 single crochet in each stitch. I am going to insert the first single crochet. And then mark the first stitch and insert one more single crochet in the same stitch. And then in the next stitch, I am going to repeat the same exact step, which is inserting two single crochet in the same stitch. One, two, again, one, and two, one, and two. So you are just going to repeat this step of inserting an increase in every stitch until the end of this round. Finally, I am on my last increase. By the end, it should look somewhat like this. You can see that the mushroom is starting to take shape and yours should look like this too. We are now on our last round before we sew it all together. On this round, you will just insert one single crochet in each stitch. At the end, you should have a total of 24 stitches. So I have done my first stitch. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. So just continue this step until the end of this round. So finally, this is how mine looks like. And now we are going to remove our stitch marker. 
and then we are going to make a slip stitch in the first stitch. Now to fasten off, you're just going to chain one and then cut your yarn and then tighten up the chain one. Before I sew it together, I added some spots on the mushroom and some stuffing at the bottom because the bottom is quite hard to reach when we sew it on halfway later on. So make sure you do this first before sewing it together. Now taking your needle and threading your yarn. Now to sew it together, first you have to line up your stitches. I'm just going to follow this part where I chain one and line it up. We are going to be working through the back and front loop only. Insert your needle through the middle of the first stitch. And then from the back head, insert it through the middle and making sure that it's aligned and pulled through. From the front stem, insert your needle. And now from the back head, insert it again. And now pull through. So you're just going to repeat this step until you sew it halfway through. I'm going to fast forward this clip just so that it can act as a guide for you to follow along. So I'll see you once you are done halfway through. I prefer not to pull the yarn too tight just so that the mushroom has slanted stitches at the front. I think it looks better that way but don't make it too loose too or else it will just pull apart later on. Once you're halfway through, take some stuffing and you're going to stuff your mushroom. After this, we're going to sew it close. Now what you're going to do is just continue sewing it together until you reach the last stitch. This is my last stitch, so I'm just going to insert it through the front and then through the back and pull through. Now we're going to weave in the excess yarn by inserting your needle through the same space you pull through and pull through anyway on the head. Then insert your needle through the same space you just pull through and go through any way you'd like. Continue this for one to two more times and then you're just going to cut your yarn. Now I'm just going to take my plastic needle and I'm just going to push in the excess yarn inside and hide it. Now what you're going to do is just repeat the same exact step for the white yarn. The final step is you can add a keychain on top like I did or if you don't have one, I'm going to show you an alternative where you just need a yarn and it will look somewhat like this. So cut your yarn however long you wanted it to be, then thread it in your needle and you're going to insert it like this and pull through leaving some yarn at the side. Now just tie your knot on top and cut it. Now just pull the yarn so that the knot is on top of the head. To hide this knot, just take a plastic needle and push it into the mushroom. Now you are finally done making the mushroom keychain. I hope you like it and thank you for watching.